Hey there guys, once again I'm having a big stint of sitting down here and trying to catch up and connect with you all again. Uh, once again my apologies, I've kind of just offhandedly mentioned things in forum sites and on Facebook and such. Uh, I want to do a review real quick of probably, I, I honestly think, the one of the best purchases I've made in reach in the re, in the last year. It's just it's it's brilliant. And many of you are gonna know what this is. I mean you've obviously you've clicked it so you know exactly what it is. But it's this. Germay's mind. So first off, let me just say if I'll tell a simple review for this in in a few words is if this is what Luke Germay is retiring from a show per se what in the hell is he doing now? Because my god, it's got to be phenomenal. Many of you have seen the Penguin Lectures. You've seen kind of a little bit of an insight and a taster of what's been contained in here. Through connection, I'm trying to think of the other things that are in there. I haven't acted ironically, I haven't seen the Penguin Lecture yet. But I'm going to quickly go through um, each disc and talk about what... I think about this, which it, it's phenomenal. If, if, if you want just the brass tacks, buy it. Don't think twice. It's seventy-five dollars. If you take this and apply this stuff, you can make it back. I intend to do it. So, first off, it opens up right off the bat. You get a full show performance where you see Luke literally just go through a full set. He opens up with tossed out deck and with the extended tossed out deck. Which is a really clever way to go about the tossed out deck, in my opinion, because there's it fixes all of the normal issues that people would have with a tossed out deck. You, I don't know. I'm not going to give too much away. The theatricality about it is beautiful in the act itself. I've actually gone back and watched the full show performance at least 20 times since I've got this video, since I've got this DVD set a few weeks ago. I've watched the DVD as a whole at least um, 20 times. I watch it beginning to end, and I love it. I think it's it's so inspiring. Every time I see it, it's like I, I, I pick up on some small detail that I missed in the last view, in the last few views. So, in this, you have a full show performance. It's great. It's Except for the tossed out deck, it's propolis. Um, Connected is on here as well. Connected is by far the one of the best. I know not one of the best. It is the best. Living and dead test I've ever seen. It just looks like you're really rat reaching in, connecting with somebody, and taking thoughts out of their mind. It's beautiful. Enough said. Disc three, disc two. I'm sorry. Goes on and has the is the segment has the touching on Hoy. It includes some extra performance of touching on Hoy. Uh, it breaks down some of his best cream de la crop work on the subject, and he really goes into detail on it. The Q and A discussion on here is fantastic. I guess, well, let me ju I'm jumping ahead a little bit, so let me go back to, real quick to the Touching on Hoi. Touching on Hoi, it has the traditional variation, how to transition from that variation into Touching on Divination, which is fantastic. I mean, I don't know why people did not see, some people didn't see the value in Touching on Divination. I do. I love it. I think it's great. Once again, esoteric kind of worker myself. Could be applied to the psychological illusionist or whatever, but why? Why? It's already being done by people and probably being done. I, be yourself. Find your own branding. My branding is unique to me and it works for me. So, anyway, Q&A discussion is some of the real meat and potatoes in this. He goes through exactly what goes through his mind when he's doing a Q&A. Why he stages things, how he creates things, how he makes his amazing hits. The most amazing thing, and I don't think I'm giving away too much here because some of you have probably seen the free 20 minute preview and if you haven't, Please, do. Watch it. There's only two pieces of known information in that whole Q&A segment. It's beautiful. I love it. It's, it's just, it shows that you, it, it, he just shows how bold, personality-driven approaches can really create this real magic for people. And how things, in my, in, in now, in his opinion, and now in mine, how mentalism should be kind of revealed in a way. I think we focus too much on that ta-da, 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 and you know, it's just something that Luke doesn't do anymore. I think it's great. Mayan Museum is beautiful. You can take, if you can, if you take Touching on Divination, the Q&A, 
and my museum, you can make many times the cost of this DVD and have a small business. It's just up to you to figure out how to set that business up. Fantastic. Disc 2, in my opinion. It's hard to create, take a favorite because they're all so great, but Disc 2 has got to be my, I'm going to say it's for right now my favorite. Because I love Propolis everything, and he does it so well, so brilliantly. Disc 3 has the double drawing on it. Fantastic. I don't want to give away the ending for you because the ending is so beautiful how he does it and how it personally connects with the person on stage. It's a drawing duplication. It's everybody involved. It's based off of a Mark Paul idea originally on, and Luke just made it better. And it's funny, in the DVD says Mark is now actually using that, this drawing duplication in his work. Danger Ahead is basically how, the right way to do Dangerous Opener. I actually have a video of me performing Dangerous Opener a few years ago as a uh, young, overconfident kid using two envelopes doing a kind of version you've seen in one of his lecture videos. Now, it's interesting. Danger Ahead is so much better than Dangerous Opener, infinitely. It's that effect... I, I, can't, I don't want to give away the staging for it, but God, it's brilliant. Buy the DVD, you see the staging alone, it's great. Next we have Zen, the Zen Apprentice. Now, once again, I'm not a, you know, I like cards. I think cards are great. Um, watching Zen Apprentice for me is fantastic. If you're a card guy, you're going to go nuts over it. It's fantastic. And Luke is definitely getting more into the card material again, as you'll see with my review of Cardamancy, which should be the next thing I'm going to film, which is great. $70, $75, the price is DVD set, but it's a whole marketable system. We'll get to that later on. Um, Zen Apprentice, I liked it. I thought it was great. Just, it's not my thing, you know? Tossed out deck presentation. Um, pretty much same kind of thing as extended tossed out deck. Uh, then we have Zinner, which is a, it's, it's the most, it's the easiest thing I have seen. On, it's the easiest thing on this DVD, but by far, it's one of the most impressive. It's a casual sit down, close up kind of thing with ESP cards that actually builds, gets more impressive, and is a visual element to it. More, when I say a visual element, I don't mean the cards match and that's the visual element. I mean there's actually something extra in here that makes it visually stimulating for the person and physiologically stimulating for them, if that gives anything away slightly. Lost and Found is a matchbox routine where literally, just the staging on this is really nice. It's one of the ones kind of, it can play for parlor, it could play for stage, you can play for close-up, it's great, and it looks much bigger than it actually is. And I think it's really nice. Once again, there's just an element It's there's an element into it where um, the methodology itself, I couldn't see myself using it, but I wish. It makes me want to come up with a methodology to make me feel like using it. Because it's so great how it looks. It just looks brilliant. And you get um, the great Chris Rollins in there as well, which I, I love Chris. Hi Chris, you're a great guy. Um, DVD number four has a bunch of inter has the interview with Michael Weber, who is the rock star of Magic and Mentalism. I love Michael. I love his work. Um, it's so great that someone so successful can be so down to earth and so kind and considerate. You get to know Luke a little bit better, a little bit more intimately as a person, which I think is great. I love getting being able to see kind of somebody grow and evolve. And Luke is one of those characters that is watching him grow and evolve over the last. You know, I've known about him for going on about seven years now. Um, seeing him grow and develop in the seven years, having been kind of in my own age group as well, me being 23 and he's, you know, I think I believe he's 29 now, it's really inspiring to see what he's done in only, you know, I think 14 years since Skullduggery came out in Seven Deceptions. Uh, the, session, the sessions are fantastic, brilliant, absolutely amazing. Watch them, you'll love them. They're, they're, just so, they're like performances for magicians. He developed them to perform for magicians. He fools the crap out of you, and he's hilarious. The Newcastle Lecture, once again, great. You get to see the routines that are done on the DVD, but done for a magic audience, and you get to see them done a little bit differently, which I think is great. Finally, the interview with Michael Weber. Once again, you get to see Luke kind of in his personal life and inside of Luke's head more and hear kind of how his belief structure is really there and what he aims to do with his life and how Michael has really benefited him in that pursuit. Once again, we're reaching that 10-minute mark. I hope this was enough information to really show you how brilliant this is. 
Go buy it. It's great. Enjoy.